Alright, what is up everybody? ADS Play 101 here. Welcome to part two of the Dr. Squatch Soap Review. I'm going to be using each one of these on different parts of my body and giving you guys, you know, opinions on how they feel. First time you doing anything this crazy and wild. My hair wild crazy. So, with the Cedar Citrus right here. I'm going to be using that on my left arm and left pectoral right here. For the cool, fresh, cool, fresh aloe, I'm gonna use it on my right pectoral and my right arm. And for the pine tar, I'm gonna use on my abs. Then I'm gonna step out the shower, give them my review as to how they feel, um, and what they smell like after the water hits. And uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna show too much skin. I only got eight minutes and 36 seconds, so I'm trying to make it fit within like a good one uh, under a minute, possibly two minutes, three. You know, shouldn't be nothing too crazy. So with that being said, see you guys in the shower. Alright, so doing a quick review of each one of the um each one of the bars of soap. You, you can easily look at them and you can tell this one is actually more like oil based right here. So is the cedar citrus. It, it does pretty good. You know, out of all of them, this one clearly is the most exfoliant one right here. I think you have my camera tilted down. But you can tell by the, you know, as the water hit it, the sand and the oatmeal and it started to um, reveal itself. And it's more, you know, this one had a little bit more of a scratch to it, so to speak. This one clearly is the most exfoliating bar right here. So if you're looking for a scrub clean, I would go with the pine tar. You're looking for more soothing skin. This is definitely the aloe would be it. And this one has, it's more of a fragrant scent, the cedar citrus. So... Hold on. So yeah, hopefully I don't get in trouble for this, but just being an honest reviewer, not showing too much. But I use the cedar citrus on the right pectoral right here and on my arm, and it it smells really good. It smells really good, and my skin is obviously soft, real soft. Um, I still got to rinse off some of the soap. I just did this kind of quick, uh, and I gotta wash my hair because my hair looks ridiculous. Um, so this one was good. The cedar citrus was good. The aloe. Let me get my camera to focus on. Like right here, it's much more smoother than the other two. Much more. Like it's more like moisturizing. You know what I mean? That's what that is. And for the exfoliant, you know this big keg of beer right here. Definitely feels like I've been exfoliating. Um, so this definitely was like the best, the best bar out of all of them. The best smelling one. The best smelling one has to go to the cedar citrus. But as far as you like, you want like a scrubbing clean. The pine tar definitely is the way to go. But if you need more moisturizing skin, this is definitely the way to go. So in three months, I'll do like three more because I do have a subscription with them. And uh, we'll try this out again. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching part two of the review. This is it for the Dr. Squatch Soap review. And uh, remember, be hungry in victory. Be humble in victory. Be gracious in defeat. But show no mercy to B.O. World Warriors Collective. Dr. Squatch. Peace. Mm -hmm.